Depending on your age, any number of images may come to mind when you hear the name Tarzan. Some remember the original novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, first published as a magazine story in 1912. <coughs> Others will picture a grunting Johnny Weissmuller fighting lions in a loincloth in the dozen Tarzan adventures, originally made in the 1930s and 40s, which played as TV reruns for years after. <coughs> Starting in 1966, Ron Eli played Tarzan in a television series for two seasons, and Christopher Lambert was Greystroke in the 1984 film. Millennials might conflate Brendan Fraser's slapstick character George of the Jungle from the 1997 family comedy with the jungle-raised hero. Or they might recall the animated Disney movie from 1999, in which Tarzan spoke with his animal family in perfect English. I sure scared you, Mom. Oh, you sure did. Yeah. Now, The Legend of Tarzan, coming July 1st, sets out to introduce the iconic, if dusty, character to a brand new generation. The high-stakes Warner Brothers film stars Alexander Skarsgård of HBO's True Blood. But 2016's Tarzan doesn't follow the same outdated mold as some of the older films. It tackles themes of nature preservation and the exploitation of Africa. While Weissmuller's Tarzan protected ivory hunters from native tribes, the new Tarzan does the reverse and fights to expose slavery in the Congo. And Jane, Tarzan's time-old love interest, played by Margot Robbie, doesn't wilt in Tarzan's arms. She's fearless, independent, and fights alongside him. I need you to scream for me. Like a damsel. He's Tarzan. You're Jane. He'll come for you.